You know, if the gentleman witnesses what just happened on the floor, it just seems that on bills where there are solutions and bipartisan, <clears throat> bipartisan indications of support, uh, there seems to be a decision uh, by the part of he, his leadership, perhaps himself, to say, hey, we're not going to go along with bipartisan work and success, and maybe we're just going to make this a partisan issue. Well, I wasn't going to mention what happened on the floor today, but the gentleman has brought it up. And the gentleman is correct. The committee passed out a bipartisan bill. A lot of Democrats voted for that bill. The problem, of course, is that 62 Republicans voted against the bill as it was amended, notwithstanding the fact they voted for the last amendment that was adopted, which we think was a draconian uh, amendment that would have hurt uh, the poorest citizens in our country very badly. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the majority leader continues to want to blame the Democrats for his inability and the Republicans' inability to give a majority vote to their own bill. Maybe the American people he thinks can be fooled. You're in charge of the House. You have 234 members. 62 of your members voted against your bill. That's why it failed. We didn't whine, uh, very frankly, uh, when we were in charge, when I was the majority leader, about we didn't pass the bill. Uh, we got 218 votes for our bills. And it was pretty tough. We got zero from your side. So don't blame Democrats for the loss today. You didn't bring up the farm bill when it was reported out in a bipartisan basis last year. You didn't even bring it to the floor because your party couldn't come together supporting their chairman's bill. So that's where we find ourselves, Mr. Chairman. I wasn't going to bring up that bill at all. What happened, happened. And very frankly, when we lost on the floor, it was because we lost on the floor and we were in the majority. We produced 218 votes for almost everything we put on this floor. Don't blame Democrats for the failure to bring 218 Republicans to your bipartisan, Lucas-supported, uh, and Peterson-supported piece of legislation on the floor. We believe that that, that loss, that partisanship in this bill, hurt farmers, hurt consumers, hurt our country. Yeah, you push my button. I'm prepared to work in a bipartisan fashion. But I'm not prepared to work in a bipartisan fashion when it said, this is what we agree on, meaning your side, so you better take it if we're going to have any agreement. That's not the way it works. It never worked that way in America. That's not what America's about. America's about expecting us to work together. This bill was reported out overwhelmingly on a bipartisan basis, could have been passed on a, a, a very large bipartisan vote, and was precluded by the actions taken through these amendments on the floor.